Hey everyone, welcome back to another The Maury's Plays Let's Play of Animal Crossing Let's Go to the City for Animal Crossing City Folk and Pete is here again today. It's kind of the new norm to start our episode receiving DLC. Reconnect24 distributing it every single day now, which is absolutely awesome. Uh, I think it's just random from the pool of DLC items, so um, unless it's some kind, sometimes related to the holiday. Uh, so let's see here, what have we got today? We have an anniversary cake! Cool! Let's check out the anniversary cake. It's much the same probably as the birthday cake. Um, not sure what an anniversary cake is. Maybe... Oh, here's our birthday cake. Let's see how different it is to the birthday cake. Can we push it here so I can line them up? By the way, we have a chihuahua as well. Here's the little Nintendo Nintendogs chihuahua. <laughs> Um, I logged on yesterday just to get that because we missed um, episode yesterday on Sunday. Right, so place in room. Is it going to be the same? Oh, wow! What is this? What is the anniversary of what? Is it anniversary of... Was it like 10 years of Animal Crossing or something? I have never knew there was an anniversary cake. There's only two candles though, but there we go. Cool. Okay, we better put our other thing here. We need to sort our storage out because the DLC items are overflowing now. We've got the sports wall and sports carpet here because uh, our storage is just overflowing. I don't think I can bring myself to sort it out today because we've got so we've got the camping stuff in there. We've got the space stuff in there. We really need to sort it all out. Maybe we could just dump it outside of. Marty's house and Marty can can make use of it um, But there we go. Wait a minute. Is the grass a different color? Has the colors changed again? I can't tell it looks a little bit. Maybe is it a little bit? Almost looks like it's a bit icy or a bit foggy, but I think it's just Wait, what time is it? Oh, it's the middle of the day. Maybe it has just changed slightly because it's late autumn maybe Very weird. Anyway, today we're going to be doing some of our usual daily chores and hopefully finding the fossils and things like that because we've still got two fossils that we need to get. I'm just going to go and pick up two fossils that I dropped outside of Mary's house. Um, the, the grass is definitely different. Look at the color of the clovers there. I didn't really, it seems to change. Maybe it's my eyes. I, I feel like it changes more in this game though. Anyway, here are two fossils uh, that Mary had in her pocket. So I just logged on for yesterday as well for Mary to get an extra chihuahua um, in case anyone ever needs it. Um, and then I dropped the fossils there so Maury could pick them up. Yeah, I can't tell if the color has changed. I think it might have. Um, I guess we're not too many weeks away from snow again. Which is what we started on, believe it or not. It seems so long ago we started this series. It was January the 1st. <laughs> All the hybrids okay for the most part. Right, trying to keep an eye open for the fossils as well. Oh, there's one. Help if I hit, aimed for the right tile. So it still should be two. We've got one on us and then two from uh, Mary. Oh, that's a point. Do we have a new neighbor? <gasps> Are you joking? Someone's moved behind us. Did I not notice that yesterday? Someone said about a new neighbor and I wasn't paying attention. Why does everyone keep moving in behind us? Is it because we have flowers in the plots? They could have moved here and had a beach house. Let's go and see who it is. Um, 
Um, it's funny how they keep this the third animal in a row, I think, to move behind us. Yep, the grass is definitely different. Just water the signpost. <laughs> okay, there we go. And also, we we did miss, I think, the arowana, the couple of uh, river fish, but maybe the villagers will give it to us so we can still complete the museum. Okay, let's go and see who's moved in. Maybe, maybe they're still in boxes. I don't recognize the house. Um, let's see who it is. Oh, an elephant. Big Top. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you. I'm Big Top, and this is my very first time living on my own. But mm, the only thing I'm really good at doing on my own is snacking. That's why I'd really appreciate any tips you could give me on living in Moriland, villain. Ding, 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 second round. Are you a jock villager? Must be with all this sports stuff. Can we lay on here? No. There we go, I like your wallpaper though. And your flooring actually, this is like just one big wrestling hall. Okay, we can we can lay on the, the the weight bench. Nice to meet you, Big Top. I don't think I've ever had you in a village in my Animal Crossing game, so nice to have a new villager that we don't really see often. The the racing helmet looks surprisingly cool on an elephant as well. Right, so it is October. So maybe the grass did change colour actually, because it's a new month, so it might be kind of late or oh, oh, late autumn colour, maybe. But that also means there are some new fish and bugs. Potentially. Right, we're going after the money rock. And also keeping our eyes open for the fossil. Hey Apollo! Apollo, you've been here from the very beginning, haven't you? Even though you pretend to hate everything, we, we know you love us. Well, if it ain't Shorty, what's got you zipping around so early in the morning? It's not that early. Oh, I've been meaning to ask you, what do you think of my new threads? Would you believe Sunny over in Mirkwood designed his outfit? In terms of fashion, Mirkwood is miles ahead of us. Yeah, you can say that again. We're not very good at designing. Uh, in fact, we need to design a flag. Right, we found the money rug. I would be interested to find out what the anniversary cake is for though. I'm guessing it was distributed as DLC for some kind of milestone in Animal Crossing. I think when did this come out? 2000 and... I don't know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't have been 10 years. Maybe, oh, maybe it could have done actually. Maybe it was distributed in 2011. And Animal Crossing would have been 10 years old. Just before New Leaf. So that could have, they could have distributed DLC that late, I suppose. Interesting. Right, where's the other fossils? <laughs> Another thing we still haven't found is a, a, a four-leaf clover. Every time you pick one of those things, I think there's a chance of finding a four-leaf clover. Right, I'm just going to check up in the top end of the forest up here. Not really a forest, but we're calling it a forest. Because we are building a cabin in the woods here for Marty. Hey Gaston. I see you got some sensible clothing on this time. Why the day, little guy? What's you zipping around so early in the morning? Hey, did you see a stranger hanging around the bridge? Uh, you might have missed him. The guy kept such a low profile, I almost walked right by him without noticing he was there. There's something really fishy about that. He's no normal animal, that's for sure. Oh, so Pascal's here. Um, so we'll have to go and see if we can grab a scallop. I think we've got one in our storage. <laughs> Maybe
Makes me laugh when the grasshoppers jump into the river. They'd rather risk it in the uh, in the rapids of the river than be caught by us and potentially given to the museum or to Nat. So I'm gonna quick check for the fossils, make sure we're not missing anything. Uh, where's Pascal then? Oh, there he is. I remember for ages he wouldn't go away from the bridge outside our house. And now he only ever seems to spawn on this bridge. Right, let's see if we can grab a scallop here. Save us going back home. White scallop. Coconut. Probably should. Oh. Oh no! My Wii remote batteries have died, I think. <laughs> there we go. We've got some batteries. Oh, it's doing this. Th it does this weird thing where when you change the batteries, it's moving by itself. So you have to unplug the nunchuck and then plug it back in. There we go. <laughs> so if that ever happens to you, just unplug the nunchuck. It's because obviously I was walking when the batteries died. And then when you put new batteries in, it thinks the, the nunchuck is still pointing in the direction. <laughs> so it's doing like its own walk. Is there something we needed to water here? No. Okay, looks like we might have to go back to our home, but we'll just check this side of the beach. Maybe we'll get lucky. Okay, we're gonna have to remember to clear the beach so more spawn in. Right, I think we've got, I think I put it in the storage anyway. I hope so, otherwise we're gonna have to clear the beach and hope one spawns in. But I feel like it should because it'd be a bit unfair if one didn't. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, uh, right, hang on. We need to sort out our pockets. Who ever would have thought we'd have too much stuff? 10,100. There we go, have a coconut. We're still two fossils away from getting today's fossils. Um, actually, we should read the letter, but sometimes the DLC is coming out with blank letters so I don't know if it's gonna say anything but maybe it'll say something about the anniversary no nope. dear Maury blank letter I think some of the stuff that is distributed outside of like the the corresponding holiday just gets a blank letter um, so that would have been probably distributed on some anniversary and it would have said something about the anniversary at the time but because it's not technically the anniversary and it's just been redistributed we're getting blank letters um, but that doesn't matter as long as we're getting the item which is cool but there we go. Maybe I'll look in the guidebook later. I've got the uh, City Folk guidebook here. See if it says anything about an anniversary cake. Although I might not have anything in there about DLC items actually. Depends when, when it was distributed. Although it should have, because you can't, just, you couldn't update these games back in the day. So the DLC was all programmed into the game from the start. Oh man, standing is so tiring. Hey, can I share a little something with you? Sure. Sometimes you have to get mad before you can be happy, man. I don't know if that's true. I guess it depends what it's about. Dude, you just blew my mind. Hey, hook an otter up with a scallop, would you? Uh, okay. Always be careful here because I don't want to accidentally press no because then he dives anyway. Look, man, this is... This here, I'm giving it to you. We still need one Pascal item, by the way. What did you give us? A helm. We've already got the helm. Mind out for the giant pond fish. 
Who knows what's lurking in there in, in the autumn? Yeah, we're just going to do the tradition of watering Pascal as he comes past. Because why not? <laughs> and then I guess we'll go and get these fossils. Oh, we missed. Get these fossils. There we go. Enjoy your day, Pascal. Go and get these fossils appraised. If I find anything about out about the anniversary cake, I'll let you know tomorrow. Um, we probably should see if there's an axe as well inside Nooks, because... Oh, sorry, Gwen! Because we still want to throw it into the fountain. We want to get that golden axe before the year is out. Um, donation. At least we got some extra fossils from the other day. A coprolite? No, nope, already got that. <laughs> I only need two more fossils, so pretty slim chance. I don't think there are rare pools of fossils. Sometimes it seems like it is, but I think it's just random. Dinosaur track. No, these are rubbish ones. These are all the tiny ones. Where are the big fossils? An Ichio skull! Oh. Yeah, the T-Rex always does seem hard to find, and that's one of the pieces we need. But I don't know if that's just because it's the most well-known dinosaur. It seems like it's the rarest. Don't worry, Blathers. We'll go and sell these and put the money towards the, uh... Well, we could either do a new town fund or we could try and put it in savings and get those, uh... Special items from the town hall. Uh, I found a nickname that really suit me. Here it is. Boy M. Uh... I don't want to offend you, so I'm going to say yes. But it's not very original, Gwen. That sounds like something we'd come up with. Right, let's go. I don't know where these fossils are hiding then. If you saw me run past one, please let me know. Um, but we'll go ahead now and see if there's an axe in here. There's oh, there's a piece of candy. Do we need to start buying candy? Oh, we could probably sell the helm as well. We've got like two of those, I think, in Mary's house. Oh, piece of candy. Yes, yes, red candy costs 360 bells. Quite a bargain, yes? I guess we'll buy it. I don't know if it has a purpose for Halloween. Probably does, so we'll buy it just in case. Um, nothing new here, I don't think, that we need. Maybe the guitar? Let's catalogue that. We should probably check out Abel's as well. By the way, we've got a bunch of candy left over from... Oh, what festival? Was it the... Uh, was, it... was it festival? Back in February, I think? Uh, it's all in Mary's storage. Do you have a moment? There's something I want to ask you. What is it? <laughs> yes, well, you see, I've been worrying about what to do with the store. Wow, this comes around so quick, doesn't it? It's supposed to be monthly. Was it really a month ago? Um, I like having these opening hours. Good hours. That's what we're on, I think. I hope. Because this stays open like till one o'clock, so we'll stick with that. That's what we like. Um, it's just handy being able to play at night time and still have access to 
the shop really. Alright, let's check out the outfits. It's getting a bit cooler, I imagine, so maybe we need to get like a jacket or something. Or a number seven shirt. <laughs> Oh, we've got some 3D glasses. This is a diamond shirt. I haven't seen that before, so we'll catalogue that. I can't remember the number 7 shirt, so we'll get that. Actually, do you know what? I can't remember. Is that a Kiwi shirt as well? Probably have had this, but... We'll do it just to catalogue. There's so many clothes. I think there's probably more clothes than furniture, so it's best just to catalog them. But we really need, do need a, a a jacket or a coat. Um, but yeah, there we go. Let's head back out. Right, let's start just, we'll just finish up by moving a couple of flowers, I think. Let's get some flowers growing. So we're gonna have to start over here. And we'll do roses because the garden shop has roses in. So we'll try, maybe we'll do roses all in the A acre. Um, oh, there, <laughs> there's a fossil hiding behind the flowers. All right, so we need to take these. Just need some roses. Here we go, some roses. Um, plant. Right, so this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go, this can go. Okay. So we have to try and replace the flowers back again. All we're doing really is grouping the flowers together in the same acre. Right, we need to find another rose. And we can get everything back to six as well. Oh, that's not where we wanted it. And we're going to water them. I don't think we have to water them in between. That's one of those myths, Animal Crossing myths, I think. I still don't know if it's true or not, but I guess it is just a myth where if you water in between the flowers, it encourages it to grow. If that is a thing, it's probably only in like New Leaf, for example. I don't think it's in uh, City Folk. Right, that's this acre. And they're all in that acre there because the boundary goes across here, so. Perfect. Right, what we could do then is we'll do one more. See if we can find some roses. We're not too concerned with the town status. But I, I will get back to perfect hopefully after we've uh, redone all the flowers anyway. Some of them have died out. So we're going to do it along here. One. Two. Mm-hmm. 
go. So I'll just have to have five in this one for now. So we're out of roses. There we go. So I think we can eat the candy, by the way. Can we? I think it, I think we can eat it if we drop it on there, but we won't because we never know how much candy we're going to need for Halloween. I'm sure it's part of the event, so we'll try and keep as much candy as possible. Um, but there we go. Uh, fun little episode. Introduced ourselves to a new villager. Uh, oh, I forgot to water these flowers. Um, Big Top, the elephant. I don't think I've ever had him in a town before. This is pretty cool. And of course we started arranging the flowers there and I'm pretty certain the seasons uh, has changed a little bit. The, the, the color palette looks a bit more like it's a little bit frosty, a bit colder, heading more towards winter because like late autumn and stuff. So I think the, the scenery's changed a little bit. Uh, but let me know what you think of this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave your ideas in the comments for games you'd like to see played on this channel or even uh, some of the little creative things we could do in Animal Crossing in, in our city folk town here. Let me know if you have any thoughts. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, of course, to channel members who we couldn't do it without. So thank you. Huge thank you to you. And I'll see everybody in the next one. Have a great day. Bye.